All right, guys, I'm quickly going to go over connecting a receiver to your laptop or a PC so you can program it and update the firmware. It is a fairly simple thing, although always confusing when you, you look at the, <laughs> the manuals. So I thought a quick video to show you some of the stuff you do to make sure it works. I have, as you can see here, just a standard USB cable that I plugged into the little USB converter that comes with your radio. So you will have this thing in your radio bar at radio case when you get it. It comes with this fancy cable that has a couple of breakouts on it. So the thing that you're looking for to do is take the one with the two pins. So you see the one that has just two wires going into it and connect it to your receiver. In this case, I have a GR12 the 3, 3XG. It's a pretty old one, but hey, it, it works. And so this cable goes into the telemetry port. In this case, it's channel five, <clears throat> designated by the T on the next to the five on, on this receiver. So I've plugged it in there and then I have a standard back, uh, just a five volt uh, power source that I'm connecting. I, you know, I mean, you can use uh, ESC or whatever you want to. I just use it because I have a switch hooked up to it so it's uh, easy for me to turn it on and off because you are going to have to turn off the power and turn on the power during this procedure a couple of times and this makes it a lot easier to do. So that's that's all there is to connecting up the system. So you take that little USB board, plug it into a USB connector to your PC or laptop, connect that uh, cable into the telemetry port and provide it a power source. So now that we have the receiver set up, we're gonna to go to the program on the laptop and I'll show you how we go about doing the actual programming. All right guys, now that we have the receiver hooked up, I'll show you quickly how to do the actual firmware update. First off, you can get the firmware from a number of places. I just normally get them from the forums because uh, Monty normally updates me and tell me in the, when the new versions are on. I'll post a link to the forum and the actual link to the Graubner download site here for this one so that you can quickly get it. So go and download it, dump the file into your laptop or PC, wherever you want it. I store mine in downloads folder. I have a Graubner folder and uh, there you can see I have my receiver firmware. So easy, just execute it. Um, on a PC you might have to do a few other things. I don't know, not going into it, but it should be fairly similar to what I'm doing here. Um, the first thing you're going to have to do is to go and select your COM port. Uh, that's true with any of the Grabner software. They uh, they don't typically auto-select COM ports. In my case, I already have it selected just because, well, I've been using it and testing it. But just go down, look for something that's USB to UART. That's the typically the... And so it converts the USB port to a uh, serial port to, to program your, uh, your unit. Um, and now we come to the tricky part. Typically when you open the new one, it probably will have something like the GR4 selected as default. You do want to do the auto detect before you start the firmware update just to make sure you have the correct item selected. Don't manually select it. It's easy to do. Make sure your receiver is off. This is important. Hit the auto detect button, then go and turn your receiver on. And now you know why I have a switch connected to the UBAC. So flip the switch and ta-da, it detected my unit you can see that it actually lists the, the part number here. And that is important when you do the manual firmware update, and which is what I'm going to do here because um, hitting the auto download is not going to work for me. I already have the firmware updated to the latest, so it won't work again if I hit auto download. So to do that, I have turned my receiver back off because this is important. Next, to do the download, you're going to have to go from off to on again. So I've just turned off my receiver, hit the file browse, go to where I stored my firmware. And as you can see, I store my firmware in a firmware folder under the Grabner folder, which is just convenient, right? I have downloaded some firmware from the Grabner site for this GR12. Even though the part number there is different, you'll see that actually the correct part number is listed in, in my list here. So that is mine, the 33576. So I'm gonna hit open on that. So now it lists that there. And next I hit the start update button. When I hit that button, it's gonna say, or it's gonna wait. So now I hit the power on button again. And as soon as I do, you can see it says start writing packets, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It'll go all the way through until it's done. It doesn't take very long to do. 
And uh, once it's done, you can turn the power off, disconnect, and you're ready to use it. Now, so it's important to, to make sure that anything that you've put into the receiver, your setups, you might have done on it through the radio, that you go and check those again and make sure they are correct. So that's it. Um, software updated, and uh, you're ready to go and use it on your plane. I will follow this one up with uh, the radio update one, which is fairly similar, um, but different. So um, I'll uh, show you how to do this one. Hope you appreciate it. If you like what I'm doing here, like, subscribe on the channel. It helps me out. Appreciate it. Thanks, guys.